Hey, what is up guys? Kita Rock here, welcome back to another Reverse 1999 video. Man, I miss this game so much. Uh, let's talk about Jessica. Before I tell you guys more about Jessica and the guides, uh, hopefully you guys are aware right now, if you log in every single day, uh, you do get uh, 7 free pulls for the next 7 days. So make sure you guys are doing that, they bring this back, uh, you get 14 free pulls collectively in the entire version 1.2. And also where it snows, this is going to be something uh, to consider as well. Now as of the time of me recording this video, the Golden Thread banner is not yet here. That's going to come on 31st of December, so in a couple of days. I still think Jessica is going to be a very very strong contender, a very very worthwhile character to summon for. So definitely, I do highly recommend you guys to think carefully if you want to pull on this banner or if you want to wait for the Golden Thread uh, banner, right? Whichever that you prefer. Now let's talk a little bit about the event. As you can see, we now have uh, separate parts, alright? So we have a two for a tooth. This is going to be very interesting. You basically do the bargaining uh, three times a day, right? You just do the quest and then uh, every single day, you just try to get all of these, uh, you know, you got to get up to 50,000 rabbit molars. So, you know, just do this every single day. I don't think this is that difficult and I don't think you need a guide for this. If you set 2,000 about there, bargain all the time, I think you should be able to get it all the way uh, 14 days, right? So easy. Now this one is going to be a little bit of the story for Jessica. Uh, you got to understand her from a perspective after she leaves the green lake, right? And then this one, Nate. Night late of visit the Utu. Currently, I'm doing this, uh, taking my own pace with this particular one. Now let's talk about Jessica. What's the best team, best build, etc. And then I'm gonna give you guys an overall uh, thoughts at the end of the video. Now first, the pulse. Uh, I would love to get her as well, necrologist. So that's gonna be very very interesting. Horopedia is new exclusive for now. So let's have a look. This is my. PT last time. Alright. Okay, so I last left off with so Soto B was the previous one, so that means this is a guarantee. So 10 pulls there plus 2 for 15. Looks like uh, 15 pulls from the last banner. So let's see if I can do this. Alright, so we need to one tap this guys. We have to one tap this. Alright. First 10 pulls. If you lose to Soto B, more reason to pull. That, that was a dupe sort of be by the way. Alright. Okay. So we got some 5 stars here. Okay. Mineral type. Horopedia. Okay, so that's going to be the only new character in this particular one. How about this particular one? So let's see. Only one. Only one. Horopedia. Oh, Charlie! Ooh, this one looks a little bit different. More Charlie? Will this be more Charlie? So that's gonna be very interesting. Oh, alright, alright, we see some glow. Is this it? No, this is the same. Consistently, it's in the same spot. Consistently, it's in the same spot. Damn! At least give me Necrologies, come on! Play U2, you can get Jessica i3 material. I already pre farm. So, oh, this looks different. This looks a little bit different, is it? Okay. Alright, okay, so we got Jessica here. Now I'm ready. Now, best side cube for Jessica. I think this is something that I get asked a lot. The best side cube by far going to be this particular one. Blasphemer of the Night. Now, this is going to be the best side cube if you have Sotobi. Alright, Sotobi needs to be there. Sotobi needs to be able to activate the poison alongside with her. Jessica cannot activate, cannot fully activate the poison of her own. So she got two skills, right? White Blanky and also the good friends. Now the problem with this particular skill, white blanky, if the target suffers poison, right, she deals uh, additional damage for every poison stack she has. So you can see, right, for each additional stack of poison, uh, deals 20% more related damage and it stacks up to two times. And yes, I am aware that her insight uh, do give her poison, right here as you can see, right? Every three rounds, round one, three, six, nine, she will basically just inflict poison on the enemy. However, uh, there's gonna be in-betweeners that she will not be able to apply that. And you want her to always have poison on the enemy, because if enemy has poison, she straight up just do 20% more damage. That's already very, very good. Now, inside three is going to be uh, very strong for her, alright? After attacking enemies not afflicted with poison, inflicts poison for two rounds, inflicting genesis damage equal to 30% of her own attack. So consider getting her to inside three if you can. Since she's a carry, you're going to be able to benefit from the stats as well. She's pretty much a main damage dealer for a lot of players. Now this particular skill has such an insane multiplier, uh, it's, it's not even funny, alright? This is at level 3, you can see 
and deals 100% more if the enemy has poison and every single stack of poison gonna do 50% more relative damage. So that's a lot. It goes up to 650% which is like insane uh, multiplier. So this is a mass attack right as you can see. Uh, if the target is in stats down negative status or control statuses right she is going to be able to deal 30% more relative damage. Now this particular skill she can pair with other debuffers. However, this particular one, she can't. She needs another character that can apply poison. So to fully be able to use both skills uh, in her kit, you need to pair her with Sotobi, or later on you can pull for Kanjira in version 1.3. That's going to come uh, slightly later, right? Now her ultimate skill, she will be able to do uh, attack to everyone, you know? Decent damage, uh, not the best, and stack more poison along the way. Just so you guys know, Genesis damage, uh, how it works is basically true damage in this game, and it scales upon her attack percent. So in that case, how do you best build her? So let's talk about her resonance. So this is what I have on her. So I do recommend going for attack percent, as opposed to critical or what whatsoever. Uh, this is the build that I have right now. So the square cube, all right, this is going to give you a lot of attack percent, 3%, and also this particular one, all right, obviously you want this one. Uh, uh, this one, I just happen to have this, this is going to give you a little bit of damage bonus as well. But anything that have attack percent, ideally give it to her, it does uh, improve her poison overall. Oops. So in most cases, uh, that's going to increase her damage scaling as a whole. Now, let's talk about the best team comp for Jessica. So this is something that you're going to see a lot, Jessica, Sotobi, very very good team again. I highly recommend get Sotobi if you can from the upcoming Golden Thread banner. If you don't, if you have Jessica but you don't have Sotobi, it's gonna improve your overall uh, team composition. It's gonna make it super easy to rotate as well. So with Sotobi, every time you can just apply the poison beforehand, right? The debuff, and then Jessica is just gonna straight up do more damage. Now, who should you use on the third slot? Uh, I get asked a lot. Uh, ideally, this slot is going to be very very flexible right uh flex slot now if you want to run mono team uh, you can put corn blum you can put uh and Lee. so those two are going to be very very good since uh corn blum is a reality damage debuffer it pairs really well with both jessica and sotobi so perfect team right there uh, same applies for and Lee. now if you want to you can also put pickles if you have uh, pickles instead now pickles is not too bad however the synergy doesn't uh match and at least one because Pickles is going to be a mental damage dealer, right? However, you do have the flexibility uh, because Pickles is a mineral type, so maybe sometimes you don't want to run a mono type, so that could be an advantage as well. So Soneto is also very, very flexible. It will always be able to fit in right here. It's going to be super flexible, really. Uh, you can put almost uh, anyone in here and it's going to work well because of how strong both Jessica and Sotobi already is. You can also slot in Regulus since she's going to be able to rotate uh, easier around and you don't have to use her as your main DPS. She can just cycle every other turn so therefore you can focus on you know your Jessica and Sotobi to constantly apply debuffs and constant damage. Now Jessica by far is going to be the strongest planned damage dealer in a long time. She's super future proof even until now in CN she is still the strongest planned damage dealer. So you will not regret pulling for Jessica. I highly recommend it if you are into her design you know. I think she's very very unique very interesting character as a whole but hey overall that's just if you're saving for version 1.3, understandable because there's plenty of good characters coming as well. Uh, I do love Reverse Anti Tetanai because of the uh, balance in terms of the characters, right? There's no characters that are like, super broken or super weak, at least for all the new characters that came out recently, which is always a very commendable thing. So yeah, with that being said, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe, give this video a like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.